Hello friends, welcome back to our Bible study course. Today we are on our 17th talk. Before we begin, let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Abba, our loving Father, I know that your ways are infinitely above mine and that your thoughts must be chosen over my own. Give us your grace of patience in all things. Help us to wait on you and to trust your mercy, which will be bestowed in abundance. I make this prayer through Jesus Christ and through the powerful intercession of Mama Mary. Amen. Last talk, we heard about the table of the presence in all detail. Today, we shall hear about the lampstand, which is also called menorah and is situated in the holy place in the tabernacle. Now, in the tabernacle, there is a tent situated which is covered completely with a roof and cloth on all sides so that there is no light coming from outside. The only light comes from this lampstand, which is situated in the holy place. The bread of the presence is also there and the altar of incense. The lampstand is continually lit since the bread of the presence is there. This bread signifies God's presence and so the lampstand must be always lit. Now let us read Exodus chapter 25, verse 31 to 33. You are to make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand must be of hammered gold, both its base and stem. Its decorative flowers, including buds and petals, must be of one piece. Six branches must extend from its side three from one side, three from the other. Each of the six branches of the lampstand is to have three decorative flowers shaped like almond blossoms, each with its buds and petals. Now here we see God is asking Moses to do the lampstand as per his specifications. Further, we see that the flowers are to be made like almond blossoms. Why? Because almond is the first tree that blossoms in spring. Verse 37, Then you are to make lamps for it, seven of them, so that they throw their light towards the front. Then we see here, God is requesting Moses to make seven lamps on it. Seven signifies the number of days God took to create the whole universe. Now just imagine you are looking at this lampstand when it is lit. It will light up the whole area in the tent, which otherwise is fully dark. Here God is showing us that He is the light. He is also the beginning and the end because of the figure seven. Also, it will appear to us like the burning bush, signifying exodus, freedom from slavery and sin. Also, the significance of the almond blossoms, showing us newness and new life. So we see there is a lot of significance of this lampstand. That's the reason God asked Moses to place it in the holy place in the tent. Last talk we heard that God appeared to Moses and the 70 elders in the form of bread. They worshipped him and ate and drank. Today we too worship our Lord Jesus in the form of bread and partake in the heavenly meal. Every time we have the blessed sacrament exposed or even at the Holy Mass, 
we worship our Lord Jesus, who is God. So we see, this is not something new that we do. It has been followed ever since God revealed himself as bread to the Israelites. Also, we must realize that the Holy Catholic Church on earth is a replica of the heavenly Jerusalem. How and why? Because God told Moses to replicate all that he saw in heaven along with the 70 elders. And accordingly, the Jerusalem temple was built after they reached the promised land. All our churches also follow the same pattern in structure as well as in the liturgy. It is therefore imperative that all of us remain faithful to our holy Catholic Church, which God himself ordained. Let us now read Leviticus chapter 24, verses 1 to 4. Yahweh spoke to Moses and said, Command the Israelites to bring you oil from pressed olives for the light, that a lamp may be kept burning continually. Aaron shall keep the lamp in order from evening until morning in the tent of meeting. It shall be a lasting ordinance for all generations. He shall set the lamps on the pure gold lampstand to burn continually before Yahweh. So we see God is telling Moses to arrange oil from the Israelites as a command. In other words, whatever is needed in the house of God, the community must provide. We also do the same in our church communities. God expects all of us to be generous towards His Holy Church, just as He has been generous towards each one of us. This teaching about the lampstand helps us to introspect and see how much effort have we put in to be a light to the world. We all are called to be a light and must help others who are in darkness to experience the true light that is our Lord Jesus Christ. I shall stop here and continue next Sunday on the same book of Exodus. Till then, let us continue to pray for all people, especially those who are suffering and in need, and also those who lost their lives due to COVID and be of help in some way by comforting them and also consoling them so that all may see the true light. God bless and have a spirit-filled week.